Learning more about this as well, it's a rare disorder. It's called Angelman syndrome. Here to talk about just what it is, uh, who's susceptible to it, and what you can do uh, to help as well is Dr. Stormy Chamberlain from UConn Health. Good morning to you. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I have to say, when, when I heard we were talking about this, I had never heard of this syndrome. What exactly is Angelman syndrome? Angelman syndrome is a rare genetic disorder um, that affects approximately 1 in 15,000 kids. Um, and it's a disorder in which the kids um, miss developmental milestones. There's developmental delay. Uh, the kids have absent speech or very little speech at all. Um, many of them have severe seizures um, and have a uh, difficulty moving and walking. Um, and so it's a it's a multi. Um, factorial uh, disorder. There are many disorders we don't know a lot about. This one you say we actually do. So if these symptoms are presenting in the pediatrician's office when you take your your baby for a checkup, uh, this is one that they're pretty familiar with, would you say? Um, neurologists at least are, ver are fairly familiar with it um, and there are tests that can diagnose it. There's a test, a molecular test that tells us whether or not a child has Angelman syndrome. Who does this happen to? Why does this happen? Is there a genetic reason? Is there, does this run in families? So technically there's a genetic reason underlying all the cases. We know that they're missing a piece of their chromosome 15 or have a mutation in one right. specific gene. Um, but um, it happens at random for most kids um, and so there's not really a huge risk of inheritance in most cases. There's a study going on at UConn right now. Of course studies and research uh, that's also encouraging to families dealing with this and many other disorders. Yeah. What, is, what is that study uh, at this point teaching researchers? Well so um, what we do is we're using um, stem cells that we've derived from patient samples. We can take a blood sample or a skin sample from a patient with Angelman syndrome, mm -hmm. convert that sample into stem cells, and convert those stem cells into neurons. And neurons are brain cells that are very important for brain function. And so by studying these cells, we can know what goes wrong in them in the cases of Angelman syndrome. And we can actually use the cells to test therapeutics. And so that is going on right now. Something else that's about to be going on is a big walk on Saturday. Yes. Supporters, yes. Uh, people in this Angelman syndrome community um, are going to be coming on down and we're of course encouraging everyone to come and join you right absolutely um, it's a it's a great time out you can meet some great families who do so well with kids with Angelman syndrome and you can learn a little bit more about the syndrome um, and support a good cause and again it's this weekend Saturday May 16th registration starts first thing in the morning the walk starts at 10 a.m. thanks so much for coming in Dr. Chamberlain really nice to meet you thank you nice to meet you and I think you're gonna get good weather Yay. on Saturday I know let's find out for sure it, it is gonna be pretty good I think on Saturday Ryan